all right welcome to another ufc3 video and today we got an extra fun and informative video ufc4 is this the first time we actually got real confirmation about ufc4 i want you guys to get in the comments below and let me know what you think of these tweets also in our feature fight of the evening we're going to be talking about submission damage and this is something that you may not have paid attention to but we're going to be checking out whenever you apply a submission the damage that it does on that specific part of the body which you can target but before we get into the details of that i want you guys to ko that like button and please don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel without further ado let's get right into these all right tweets. let's get right into the ufc4 speculation and how it all came about the official ufc twitter account released the image of the new belt and explaining all of the nuances and what they mean this belt is going to be extra special and extra customized so on the left side of the plate anytime a fighter wins a championship one of those clear stones will be replaced with a red stone and it'll have a custom made name tag of when you want to fight so i tweeted gpd and said a new belt will have fighters histories etched in stone ufc4 can have some fun modes around collecting stones and this is what gpd replied with a conor mcgregor thanos image and this is the first time that i seen gpd have his name attached to ufc4 at all you guys let me know what you think ufc4 underway let me know in the comments below now let's get right into what we came here for and that's sub damage this is something that I want to talk about. Anytime you put your opponent into a submission, you actually do damage on that part of the body, even if you don't get the submission. So one shot after the submission, lights out for Robert Whitaker. As you can see in another example that we have coming up, I'm going to put my opponent into an arm triangle. And as I'm going through that arm triangle, I got Jose Aldo on top and I will start doing head damage at the top right hand corner and even though I don't get the submission when I come out I'm on the dominant I'm still in a dominant position and one shot that's lights out for Conor McGregor so you have to be cognizant and aware that damage is taking place sometimes the result of the oh, submission God. doesn't produce an immediate knockout however it oh, still does God. damage that you can take advantage of bad. later now this against my, my title, man. arch rival Bruce Lee Rob. Let's see how uh, it plays out in a rank match. Bro, now, each submit. stage of this arm this triangle fight. that I successfully pass will inflict more damage on my opponent. Now, even if you don't get the submission, like I said, you're going to do a lot of head damage. And going into the last round here, even though I didn't see, get the submission. Too or the knockout at that point, I love you. his like head is homie. damaged from the submission. So mean? any little tap from me is going to result in a rock oh, or a wow. knockout. Wow. wow, look at him punch me, bro. Look at that game, man. This game. This game. What the title, bro? I got up by my arch rival, I'm a boxer. I smack boxer five times in a row, and then I buy him in the title fight, Victoria. Okay, now, moving right along. I like to use Jacare Souza because he's a 95 on the ground. And whenever you go here, a lot of times you find yourself in this half guard position. A lot of times only it takes one transition block and you can get into this arm triangle easy and now don't get me wrong this isn't the only position that does head damage but this is one of my favorite ones because if i don't get the submission one shot ko just like that and all of these are ranked matches all of these count for division points now sometimes it works out a little bit differently and you can just get the easy submission with jacare has a 98 submission game so you're in a win-win situation when you're in that position because you're either going to get a win or do a lot of head damage. Now, with Brian Ortega, this is a little trick here. Whenever you're in someone's guard, 
this is a free transition because if they decide to block it and reverse it, you're in Brian Ortega's guard, and they don't want to do that because if they get caught in Ortega's triangle from his full guard, that's a two-gate submission green gate. So you can just transition your way up the full mount, put a lot of pressure on your opponent, and then get the easy submission. Okay, now let's get into the feature fight of the evening. Fighting a very talented opponent. The Savage 206 that was ranked all the way up to number eight in the beginning of the new season. I got Jacare Souza in the red gloves. The Savage has Paula Costa in the blue gloves. Very dangerous. Coming out wasting no time. Okay, a lot of times the keys to victory in your fight is going to carry out in the first minute. And the key to this fight was actually catching the knee. A lot of people complain about people that throw a lot of knees. Look at them as opportunities, not like a knee spammer. You just got to learn how to make it an advantage to you. So I got an opponent that's throwing a lot of knees and hitting my body. And if I can't catch him, I want to go body shot for body shot to make sure that I'm not getting behind in the stamina department. And as you can see, he's whipping some shots, landing some body shots. But again, I want to go body shot for body shot. Every time he touches my body, I definitely want to hit a strike of his own. And he's getting frustrated by it, as you can see right there. But I'm not going to play into those shenanigans continue doing what I'm doing going straight to the body okay a nice lead front kick I want to mix up my strikes and not whiff too much and every time I get hit in the body again you see now I'm going for a body shot Palacasa has a lot of power and you cannot take many of these shots and this is how you deal with some of that forward moving pressure back up keep things unpredictable and you have to be good at catching these kicks and anything to the body if not you're going to take a lot of damage that's like the key to the fight now you mix it up there went up high and i paid the price but you're going to get hit sometimes but you got to understand you want to use some of those opportunities and take advantage of them so I feel like he's getting the better of me on the feet. Let's take it to the ground with Jacare has a 95. Whereas Palacosta only has mid 80s. Now he gets back to his feet. But at least I have a game plan. And that is try to catch those knees, try to catch those kicks, take it to the ground. Match body shot for body shot. That's going to be the meta here. And if I can't catch it, then I'm going to try to return a body strike of my own and not get too far in the stamina department. Now, as he's whiffing these shots here, he's hurting his permanent stamina and I'm attacking that body and it's going to be easier and easier to catch these knees. Now, in this exchange here, I'm doing a lot of damage to my opponent, hitting his body, and this is exactly what I needed to do so I can mitigate some of the power of Palacasa. And right there, you get a close-up shot. He looks tired already. And this is exactly what I need. Now, we're going to pick up here in the second round. And this is one exchange in the middle of the round that happened where up close, I throw a jab and he throws a lead uppercut. You don't need to throw that jab up close and my uppercut gets beat by a hook. He throws two power shots to my one and I am in trouble. So already I'm facing adversity. He's going to my body, but I'm still looking to catch these kicks. And like I said, here's the key to the fight. He's throwing a knee and I catch it. Now we're going to get into submission damage and how it's going to actually play out in a championship fight where you don't get the actual knockout right away or even do head damage now up under the new unified rules of mma just getting a takedown actually does not score 
It's about what you do with this position. You need to do some type of damage. I was able to get into side control, end up getting two transition blocks here. And with Jacare, now you're gonna to have to go for the submission. What you're seeing here, this is a Kimura. And it's not going to do head damage, but it's going to do block damage. Every time I'm going through that submission, a successful gate, I'm doing more and more block damage, as you can see right there. And I'm close to actually winning. Or if I don't get it, like right there, I got a lot of sustained block damage. And I'm noticing that. And what you guys are going to see here may surprise you um, in the beginning of the next round. I give up that position and look, Palacasa again is looking wore out. Now, in the beginning of the third round, all it takes is a simple jab. And look at this. It's doing major block damage because of that Kimura. His block is actually blinking. This is where I shift my focus. And I'm in trouble right there. Took another knockdown. Still facing adversity, not out of the woods yet. Very, very tough opponent, the Savage. Again, going to work on my body. But I know that block is low. And again, I shift my focus from the body to upstairs. To the head, working on that block. Because this is where I got that Kimura. And I've done that submission damage in that area. And his block is hurt and is low. Even if he blocks my shots, a lot of my shots are going to bleed through to actual head damage. Here, I'm just going to be putting a lot of pressure in again. Shut the music off. I'm facing a lot of adversity. But I'm not discouraged because I see how much his block is blinking. But I got to be real careful because Palacasa is very powerful. And he has the heavy hands perk. I can't really take any damage at this point, late stage in the fight. But I'm focusing on this block upstairs. And there it is. Got my rock of the fight. And I'm attacking that block from here on out. And one thing, it's very tough to get in whenever you have low stamina. And your opponent is just backing up. And I have to find a way to get in and land major strikes, hooks, and uppercuts. This is when you can use a moving sway. And I want to time it here because I know this is exactly what my opponent is doing. He's waiting to the perfect opportunity, and then he's going to go for a strike just like that. But he doesn't have enough stamina, really, to finish it off. And I know that. To me, they're almost like cosmetic. I'm gonna try to time one of these explosions that he's having while I'm still putting a lot of pressure on his block. This is when you can move, use one of those moving sways and boom, that's how you wanna get in with the uppercut and finish off a very strong opponent. Put him to sleep, put the blanket on him. Very tough opponent. The Savage, ranked number eight at the time of this recording. And I was fortunate to come out of there with a win. And that's how I started out my new season there. And here's some highlights of some of those victories. Jacare Souza had some hands, submissions. Finished the fight submission, one stage submission right there. Getting a lot of ranked wins with Jacare Souza having a real good time. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you learned anything in this video, then of course, I want you guys to share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Help your boy out. Got a lot of wins with Brian Ortega. He has a lot of tricky two-stage submissions. And if you reverse him, you're going to be in trouble. So I like using Brian Ortega. He has a very high submission game also. Getting a lot of 
submission victories just adding to my boxing and my wrestling because you want to be a complete mixed martial artist that's going to give you the best opportunity to win and if you didn't know i want you guys to join our discord i'm going to leave a link in this description down below we got games it's a lot of chat if you want to learn how to join the esfl hit me up there and as you can see those triangles don't play around and we beat some big names out there ex esfl champion swiss labix right here using the alternate account yeah we found you we got you and definitely last but not least a championship fight against israel adiasanya after his comment saying that the rest of us just play ea ufc sports and he does it for real i took that as a shot at me but until next time man thanks peace